Welcome back to Newsline. If you've just joined us, we welcome you. Now, they say every day isn't Christmas, and it's not every day a girl child, for that matter, gets the rare chance to sit in the Federal Executive Cabinet. Now, but for Esther Ade Soye, that special opportunity came on the International Day of the Girl Child, where she served as Minister of State for Youth Development. Now, her role shined a light on the efforts to close the gender gap in education. And our correspondent, Olayin Ka Ojo, was there to capture everything for Newsline. The International Day for the Girl Child is celebrated on 11th October every year to recognize girls' rights and the unique challenges they face around the world. The foundation of the challenge is poverty. What do you need to go to school? Money. What do you need to have quality health care? Money. And to fashion out better ways of addressing some of these challenges, a national essay competition with the theme, Girl's Vision for the Future, Reimagining the Future of the Girl Child in Nigeria, was organized. 160 girls from across the Federation participated. Today, here's the winner of the essay competition. She will oversee the affairs of the ministry as the Minister of State for Youth Development for the next 24 hours. Excited about being the first girl child in the history of the ministry to assume such position, Esther Adesoye, upon assumption in office, held a press conference. A future where technology would be used for education in every part of Nigeria, a future where girls are change makers and foster sustainable practices, becoming pillar of economic growth and environmental stewardship. For the Minister of State for Youth Development, Ayodelio Lawande, the idea is to support, inspire, and push them to a better future. Take decisions that will improve the girl child's life. Understand that there is space for you everywhere. It is essential for creating a more equitable and prosperous future. Stakeholders are of the opinion that empowering the girl child through education, as well as the creation of a girl child commission, have become necessary. <laughs> Oh my God, I don't know what I would have done myself. Anyway, congratulations, Esther, for the very rare opportunity.